gonna do a video today just to show you the rear brakes. We're, we've just serviced the brakes on the back of our Toyota Hilux Mark 6, Mark 7. So we'll just show you what we did, show you how the brakes are set up in there. Maybe you're working on your brakes and you can't see how the springs and everything have gone back. It could be a useful reference for you. Um, this is a 10 year old truck now um, and the brakes are mint. So right, first thing you need to do is remove the wheel. Easy enough, we don't need a video of that. Then you remove the drum now. The drum, we've had the drums off these, but you may have to hit them with a hammer. Where's our hammer? Do, do, read them over. Obviously take the handbrake off, and then give them a tap around, just to loosen the shoes off. We were servicing it because our brake, this is an interesting point, so our brake travel was quite a long way. So when you put your foot on the brakes, it was going down a long way. But when we put the handbrake on, the brake, tra the brake travel reduced. When you've got that situation, you know your rear brakes need adjusting. Now, there's the rear brake set up. So you've got your piston at the top here, which expands hydraulically both ways there. Um, do you want to demo the handbrake mechanism, Ian? So if we pull the handbrake, it pulls the cable, which pulls out that arm. Ooh, hold on, where's my finger gone? There. And then what it does is it just forces these these out at the top. You can see that. Do it again. That's it. Okay, thank you. Um, right, so that's basically the setup. I'll just zoom in so you can see the sprigs. But you can see it's in really good nick for a 10 year old car. Um, right, one thing, we, so first thing you need to check, we gave it a dust, we cleaned it all off. Um, we'll look in here, where am I looking? There we go. So the thickness here, this is the thickness of your friction. We've got loads of friction material left on here. They all look good. They're not scored at all. No grooves in them here. We have sanded them already. Right, we did run a bit of sandpaper around the inside of these brake drums, but the brake drums look fine. Um, sometimes you get a bit of buildup of rust. We clean that off just on this lip here. Makes getting the drums on and off easier. Everything looks good. We've got no sign of any leaks here on the, on the hydraulic side of things. So we're all good. We put a bit of oil on the adjuster here. So let's look at this in more depth. So we've got this little this little mechanism here that goes against this little wheel here. And it's got little serrated teeth on it. I've got a good angle on it there. Um, actually, how you adjust the brakes is if you can see there, you can see that little hole there. If you go around the back, there is a little hole in the back of the brake drum. There's a bit, there was a rubber in there. Have you lost the rubber in? Have you got that little bit of rubber? There we go. So we've got that little rubber there, Ooh, that's come out of it. We'll put that back in when we've finished. So you can pop that little rubber out. And then if you go in from the back again, Ian, we'll show you how that works. So you go in and what you've got to do is just tickle it and you can actually just move that round on the cam, lever against the bottom of the housing and you can just notch that round. And every time you notch it out, it winds this little screw thread there out and pushes that plunger out that way which makes the shoes just closer um, to the edge of the drum so your hydraulic piston doesn't have to use so much fluid to push out. So we're gonna put that back on, adjust that up, um, and that's basically, if you, obviously if your friction worn, linings are worn, you'll need to change those. So we just take it off, dust it, and then you're gonna put that drum back on in and then just show them. So again, we've got the handbrake off still. There's no way that goes on. There's nothing else holding it on. It's literally just the wheel holds it on. They used to have a little screw in one of those holes years ago, didn't they? But they got away, done away with that. Right, so just show that that, that rotates freely. Right, so let's notch it up a little bit. So you've got to go in the back there and just give it a twizzle it a couple of turns. It's fine and it's a tricky bit. Fine, isn't it? You haven't got, it's not like working on a mini, you've got a fair chunk of room behind there. Just knowing where it is in here yeah. to find out, make sure you're not turning it on. And obviously you could adjust the brakes without taking the drum off, but you might as well take them off, dust them, because if they've worn down... For the sake of just pulling that, pulling off, that off, you can actually do it, it proper up, clean. Check for leaks. We've got a click or two. We've got a click or two. We've still got a bit more there. 
tight. And what we're going to do is we're going to get it so it's just tight. And then what we'll do is we'll go and put the handbrake on a couple of times just to centralise it, just to make sure it's not pushing out one side more than the other, that it, it really centralises. And oh, you can start to hear him rubbing now. Right, well, I'm going to stop the video and we'll, we'll show you it when we've just adjusted it. Yes. So yeah, if we, we've tightened him up a bit more now, so give a little demo. So he's, he's, he's getting a bit hard to turn there. Right, now go and pull the handbrake on a couple of times, up and down, hardish. And that should centralise it. Let's have a look. If that's now. Yeah, and I'd say that's about right now. You can just hear it picking up. Um, and obviously the other thing is you this will reduce your handbrake travel. So if your handbrake travel's um, excessive and your foot pedal is excessive, but it improves when you put your handbrake on, you just need to adjust those brakes. So there we go, good luck with that.